we're going to get to the uh, some more NFL talk. And um, there was something that happened this past weekend in D.C., and they normally get it wrong. How often do they get it wrong? <laughs> Almost every time out the gate. So – Sean Taylor, you remember, it's been 15 years ago, almost to the day, that he was killed. Uh, Intruders came to his house and killed him. And so the, you know, Washington football team, the commanders, wanted to do something special and put up what we thought was going to be a statue. When they pulled the curtain down to uh, unveil it, Ephraim, it was a wired mannequin, poorly dressed, and it looked ridiculous. Can we say that? Oh, you can say it. It was awful. What was that? My mom or my late mom used to always say the same thing. If you can't do a job right, don't do it at all. Don't do it at all, man. Just, what, just, just, what was that? I think it, with all the turmoil that's going on with the commanders surrounding the owner uh, federal investigation, they're trying to, you know, shed some light on maybe a, a positive aspect of, you know, deflect maybe and use the, you, you, uh, you know, under the guise of, of honoring Sean Taylor. Um, and when I saw it, I just felt that the first thing I felt sad and I felt sad for his family, uh, his friends, uh, because he meant so much to to so many people, so bad for the fans. What I didn't feel bad for it was the commanders, because they've just added another blunder to a, a seemingly endless, endless mistake filled tenure under D- uh, Daniel Snyder. It, it's just ridiculous, man. It, it is amazing that you could keep botching stuff, <laughs> like like you just. It's like, almost as like it's on purpose. Aren't you going to get it right eventually? I, I, I mean, mean, like you would think you would think so. At some point, you're going to get it right, and this was like, don't do it. You would have been better off hanging his jersey, right? Yes, honoring his jersey. They even had this wired mannequin, just which make I've a never statue. Seen. Right, or, or or get the statue. Just get done. a statue. Yeah, right. That's it. And this thing had on black gloves, which he never wore. Like it just didn't. He had it, on soccer cleats. It, it was like, what is this? It was a Reebok jersey, I think, uh, or Nike jersey, Reebok pants, and Adidas soccer cleats. Like, like it. This was like, go into the storage closet. And let's see what we got it's laying like, around. When you go to Dick Sporting Goods and you see a mannequin that some seventeen-year-old kid put together in the front of the store. <laughs> That's literally what they did and made a, a presentation out you of gotta it. you got to take a look at it. It is embarrassing. It makes no sense. Yeah, it, it, it was hard to it was hard to watch. And, and to do it under the guise of honoring someone who meant so, who was tragically killed and, and meant so much to so many people, I, I just didn't like that at all. I really didn't. And then if you look closely, you can still see the uh, 75% off on his jersey that was still <laughs> hanging off there. I mean, I mean that's that's how that's what it looked like. Like they ran down the last moment to to go and get whatever they could to put together for this to to honor such a player in their organization. If you're going to do that, you got to do it first class. And I'll tell you one thing. I saw his daughter interview. Did you see that, Ephraim? His, uh, his, I didn't see. Okay, it. his daughter, she was a gracious person and didn't, you know, didn't want to make us think or whatever or take away from it or say anything. You know what I mean? Like, I give her credit, even though there's no way that the family could have been happy. No, no. And and so my whole thing is if you can't get it right, then don't do it. That period. If you cannot get it right, then don't do it. Or hire someone to get it right. Obviously, I don't know what's going on in, in the marketing department, the media department, but that was a that was that was a huge misstep. And, you know, it just adds to the urgency of, of, of Daniel Snyder needing to sell the team. One hundred percent. And if you're a fan, you gotta say to yourself, like, man, what was that? Why do we keep stubbing our own toe? Why you know, why? And I- and to think where for people who are young, Ephraim you know, and, and uh, the last uh, 25 years or so, they have no idea what Washington used to be like. 
Am no. I right? Like, no, they don't. They like, don't. Like you couldn't get a seat. You couldn't. You couldn't get a seat at that place. You couldn't do. I mean, if the the Washington. I don't want to use the old name, but they were as big as football guys. Yeah. Are you kidding? It was like a ten or fifteen year waiting list to buy tickets, and then they got to the point where at FedEx Field they're covering up seats. Yeah. Because they couldn't sell them. Nobody would have believed this if you if I told you this back in the 80s that they wouldn't be able to sell tickets in D.C. for their football team. No, and, and the thing is, you know, you, you take a moment like that and it overshadows what's actually happening on the field, right? You have the Washington Commanders who are 7-5 and, 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 and still in the thick of this thing. Right, they're in a division, the NFC Beast, as I like to call it, uh, aka the NFC East, where every team is, uh, you know, two games or more over five hundred, and they got a real shot coming down the stretch. But you know, ownership and and management keeps doing things to 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 take away from their accomplishments, which is crazy to me. It's nuts. Uh, and and here's the thing about honoring players. I think you want to make it as special as you can, and you don't want to do it that often, no, right? It's no. got to be... It's got to be... You should... Like, for Sean, it should have been a big moment. Am I right? Like, yeah. if you're going to do that... You can't do it again. You can't do it. You can't, can't undo can't do it, it. We can't unsee that thing. You can't go and build a statue later and say, oh, no, no, wait a minute. We're going to do a redo. Like, that. that's the bad part about it, is that you had a moment there... And and again, this was on a 15th anniversary. This didn't happen three years ago. This should have been thought about. This should have been, uh, uh, how can we do this as classy and make this a memorable moment uh, for I, I remember growing up in, in Queens and growing up as a Mets fan, it was long overdue they gave Tom Seaver finally a mm-hmm. statue, right? The late pitcher for the Mets. E from that, that statue <laughs> is spot on. Like, it couldn't be any better. And they even have Tom Seaver with his pitching motion. And when he used to pitch, his right knee used to touch the dirt. So Mm -hmm. when you ever saw him, his his knee was always dirty. So they have the statue of his knee almost touching the ground. Like, it's perfect. Attention to detail. Right. That's Tom Seaver. There's no ifs, ands, or buts if you watch that guy play. And that's all we're talking about is there's a way to do it. There's a way to make people feel good about a, a sad situation. And if you're going to honor somebody, you should you should go all out. Not cut corners, not do it last minute, not do it half ass. It's wrong. It is. Yeah, and 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 they they definitely missed the mark here. Completely. And and it's sad. Like like I said, you only can do it once. You can't do it. You can't redo it. There are no redos. There are no redos. Uh 877 877- 99 on Fox. Are we being too nitpicky from the standpoint of they did honor him, and is that should that be enough, uh, or does it have to be like like what are the standards as a fan or seeing, uh, you know the uh, when your team honors somebody mm-hmm. does is it special to you? Do you love those kind of things? Uh, or not, because, you know, like, they're starting to put up a lot of statues of people. Yeah. I just saw, a matter of fact, down at Old Dominion, Nancy Lieberman got a statue of well, her. She should have no, got I a statue. No, I know. Nancy was the, the and, real And deal. a Hall of Fame basketball oh, yeah, oh, player. Oh, yeah, yeah, real deal. Yeah, but she has a statue now at Old Dominion, which I think is awesome. But uh, and Where look, would your statue be? My statue? Yeah, where would it be? Where would the uh, Rob whoa. Parker statue be? And what would it look like? Oh, wow. I don't know. That's a good question. I think can can I have a, make a suggestion? All I don't, right, I don't, I don't, go ahead. I don't know where it would All be, right. but wherever it would be, it would have you in a seated position. Okay. All right. With a fist full of dollars here. All right. And chicken wing yeah, over that's here. That's right. Okay, I got it. Staring at the pole. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Is that where my life is? is I mean, that I'm we just think saying. To me. I, I I mean you know that that would be an, an honor it would be a statue that honors you like what what what, what do you think? I, and my I, cheese was hot. <laughs> my cheese was hot. No, I I'm not against that from the standpoint of you like that idea. Yeah, don't you? I do yeah, because I, I know you I'm do. a man of the people. I, you hey, know man, me. I, I, I get it. Yeah, but uh, you know I need baby oil. 
if I got a statue, I would need baby oil, and uh, of course I would. And a cigarette. Where would it be, though? Well, I would probably be in New York where I was born, okay. right? I would think. And I've spent 20 years in Detroit. The thing that I admired the most is, you know, I wasn't from Detroit, and they embraced me mm-hmm. like I'm one of their. You know, when you put in time there? Yeah. And you know I own a barbershop there for 20 years. And it, it, would put, it would be out in front of the barbershop there. Statue right there? Of course. I always say The barbershop's like, still there. I know you just went back and honored, honored it. Honored it. 20 years. You know, I always say like LeBron statue in Cleveland, right? If they do a LeBron statue in Cleveland when they do, in one hand he should have a basketball, in the other hand he should have a suitcase. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that would be perfect. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be it.